Hey, it's uh, Dave and Mike, Get a Van Adventures. Welcome back to our newest episode. <laughs> anyway, everybody talks about synthetic oil and conventional oil, which one's better, which one's worse. Um, it's a matter of preference. Some people like conventional, some people like synthetic, different brands. Um, I'm just going to show you very simply. <laughs> I'm just going to show you very simply why I like synthetic motor oil over conventional. Now, take a look. This is your come on, castor oil edge. It's your synthetic. There's your just regular conventional. They're both 1030, uh, both made by Castrol um, at the same temperature. And Which is cool. They've been sitting outside in the snow. Yeah, we moved inside a insulated uh, shipping container just so we could do this for you. So I'll crack these lids off and I'm going to just show you the difference in flow and the reason I uh, choose synthetic motor oil over conventional. And it's going to be pretty easy for you to see. Okay, let's get this a little tighter in here. Hey, get this mic? Yep, we're good. Ready, set. That's the difference. That's your conventional oil. Now picture, when you're starting up your car, you're cranking over the oil, uh, cranking over your engine, and it's pushing the oil up. Now, as that's pushing up, it's so thick, it's taken a long time. And most of your wear on an engine begins with the startup. So this thing's basically empty. Emptied out, quick. This thing, still going. So that is why I choose synthetic over conventional. And that's not the only reason, but that should be one of your biggest reasons right there. So, Mike, I don't know how many seconds we've been into this, and it's still chugging away. So it's got a ways to go. Anyway, take this for what you want, pick the oil you want, but this is why I choose synthetic over conventional.